Hey, this is Matt Holtquist with the QuickBooks University. I wanted to do a quick video tour of some of the new features in QuickBooks 2018. Okay, so QuickBooks adds a few new features in their new releases and uh, QuickBooks 2018 is no different. So I wanted to go through a few of those with you. All right, so when you have uh, your, I'm going to show you how to find these uh, new features and uh, kind of give you an overview of where they're at and you can go and play around with them. So if you have your company file open, what you're going to do is simply go up to the help drop down menu and you'll see an option here that says new features. All right, so let's go over to the new feature tour. And it pulls up another screen and you'll see there's uh, a few different things here that um, are new features in QuickBooks 2018. So the first one is being able to merge vendors. Okay. And let me go back down here. Okay. So you can quickly discover and select the vendors to merge. All right. A lot of times in QuickBooks, you know, you'll get multiple vendors that get set up. Uh, you know, one might have LLC at the end and the other one doesn't. One might have an address, one doesn't. Uh, it, it, there might be um, uh, a period in some initials in a name and not in others. I mean, over time, you're going to get a bunch of this stuff. And so this allows you to uh, merge vendors and uh, so that all the information will go to just one of them and you won't have two. All right, the next one here is stay logged in. Okay, so this one uh, allows you to, uh, when you open or switch to a different company file, if you have multiple company files, you can stay logged into another one and you can set a time period for this. Uh, that way you don't have to log in uh, every single time. All right, third one, support for multiple monitors. Um, you're going to be able to actually move reports over two different monitors. You haven't been able to do this in the past. And uh, this is a, a pretty handy function. Okay. More secure webmail. Uh, there's some enhanced security uh, in QuickBooks uh, so that uh, you can send more secure email. So good little feature there so that you can be sure you're sending reports and other sensitive information in a secure fashion. Searching in your chart of accounts. Uh, now you can go in and search the chart of accounts for specific accounts. Um, this a lot of time or in the past, what you've had to do is basically scroll through your chart of accounts and which can be kind of a pain. So this uh, makes it easier to type it in and find it. Cash accrual toggle on reports. I really love this uh, new feature in QuickBooks uh, because it's generally you're going to have to go up to customize report when you have a report up on the screen if you want to switch between accrual and cash. Uh, but this just makes it much, much easier just to click between the two. All right, now a past due stamp on invoices. And you are able to uh, put this past due stamp on invoices so that when you send that to customers, uh, you can highlight the fact that it's past due. And uh, I believe this function is also available when you email or if you print mail, you know, however you choose to send it. So that's a nice little function. Now, keep in mind, I am using as an example, the QuickBooks Accountant Premier desktop version for 2018. So if you do have a different version, uh, some of these new features may not be in your version, but I do encourage you to go to this help menu, go to the new features and do a new feature tour, and you're going to see what some of the new features in your version of QuickBooks are. Thank you so much for watching the video. Again, my name is Matt Holtquist with the QuickBooks University, and I hope you enjoyed the video.